Hi Pisces, I'm hoping you're doing well. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading June 28th to the July 4th. We will see this week. What do you guys need to know? Just overall messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There will be an extended. The link will be in the description box below. All right, what does Pisces need to know? What's going on with Pisces? Jupiter is still in your sign at two degrees. So that's good, right? It's going to go retrograde pretty soon. What is going on with Pisces, please? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. Okay, you look like you're at the end here of the burdens. Hmm. Okay. Something here has been contemplated for some time. I feel like you had enough with that Ten of Wands, or you feel like you're almost reaching that goal. The Knight of Pentacles, oh, with the Ace of Wands, the Emperor. The Eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Star, very nice, the Page of Swords, the Fool, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Okay, no matter what, is you're looking at celebrations here. But let's let's start. What's going on? What is the overall situation? We have this methodical type of personality here with the knight of pentacles action here it may be financially for some of you maybe that you um right now feel like you have virgo energy by the way you have to plan something here these two kind of contradict uh, a little bit each other the biggest situation whatever it is here your pathway or whatever action that you're trying to take you, you want to know here to plan ahead that's what it seems with this Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to take actions. I'm going to plan. I'm going to do it my own way. Even it can be about a person here. This may be the person that you're hoping to come towards you. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, but it is these plans that you want to end up it, it kind of, you know, in the best possible situation that's what the knight of pentacles is like this known pathway is known personality it's a certain ground energy here uh, if we even look at this as a virgo which is your opposite here it's it's kind of you feel like a sense of security but the ace of wands tells me that there's a little bit here between being grounded and kind of following that known pathway and feeling like there's something immediate there's this chemistry this passion that is still there that it, it kind of you know throws you off whatever it is that you're planning so it has to do with um with an opportunity um earth and fire here are, are kind of again i feel like they're contradicting what you want to do i you know it's like to me it's like do i hold on right now to a friendship or do i hold on to um feeling the security or do i just want that spark and that initiative energy so it's a little bit between grounded energy and between immediate passionate quick swift opportunity and this is coming because of this emperor personality this is because someone again wants to have um this control wants to have self-control overall but ha wants to have um taurus energy for some of you and aries uh, kind of the the foundation a firm foundation here that's these two together i feel like they want their own way and you can again remember guys i don't know if it's you or the person that you're connecting with but i feel like there's this personality of i need to do it my own way or in this situation i need to take time before i act and this is because in the past there's been some type of disappointment there you are with your piscean energy someone may have emotionally withdrew here someone may felt like you know um, nothing is happening i just need to let it go the Eight of Cups here, especially with this one, it feels like someone is still lingering to that one emotion. There's still this uh, disappointment that someone is still looking at. And this may be why you have in your thoughts this energy of, will I be abandoned? Remember, that's why you don't want to rush in. You're trying, the best situation for you is to get out of um, feeling left out, neglecting, especially if it's also financially here. But mostly is this energy 
of, you know, I just don't want to feel like this anymore. I want to get out of this situation. And it's because of that Knight of Pentacles there, that there's still passion there, there's still desire. Well, things are going to change for you, uh, Pisces. You are going to feel a certain sense of optimism or someone is coming towards you with a lot of light, healing. It's like a wish fulfillment. It's a major arcana. So whatever it is, this planning and going back and forth and trying to hold back and trying to stay very strong or grounded, there's this optimism and light that is coming towards you. Now, how are you going to be behaving? It looks like you're just looking, observing here and trying to find out information. You might feel a certain sense that um, you want to talk to someone, but I'm getting mostly you're just gathering information. You have these two aces here between passion and observation. So I feel like you're observing. You're observing and you're just researching and looking for information. External to you, someone wants to take a leap of faith towards you. That is a new beginning that is coming. You might not be seeing right now, but this is what surrounds you, a new beginning. Um, you are afraid that you are going to get disappointed. The Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups. Um, you're afraid that this is it. It's a farewell. Well, it's that's not the case because the Three of Cups tells me that there's... Um, reconciliation here your plans are going to go accordingly again the the in your mind and in your hopes and fears you have this energy of abandonment and em emotional loss and grief but he's saying that there's going to be a reconciliation and good news coming towards you so let's clarify to get a little bit because all i see right now um I see a lot of worry and I see a lot of stress regarding what is that you want to go towards. But in the end, it, it like the outcome is so beautiful. Continue doing what you're doing, Pisces. That's how I see this. Continue doing what you're doing. And do not let fear or neglect throw you off. Queen of Cups with the Four of Wands. So we have someone that wants to, to be with this Queen of Cups energy. Celebration and coming together. What is the Knight of Pentacles? Some of you, you have very strong um, Virgo energy. It's like a message. Uh, also financial freedom. I keep getting financial freedom for you guys. Remember that burden that I said before. Why are you conflicted? You have a journey here. You have a, a destination. Again, financially, you might feel burdened, but there's uh, another conflict that is going on here. It's like someone wants to go towards this situation, but there's there's a lot of uh, that is being carried, a lot of baggage, a lot of heaviness. Is it a financial burden? And it's coming with you starting something new. What is the Ace of Wands? One more. Yeah, it's that Knight of Pentacles again. You want to go towards this new passionate beginning, but um, you are afraid. I, I'm getting afraid or conflict, conflicted here. You want to take action. You want to take action towards this situation. And with this Pentacles again, for some of you it's financial, for other, others here you want to start slow. Because there is someone here that has a lot of responsibilities. The emperor carries a lot of responsibilities. Remember, it's like someone that feels like I have a foundation. It may be someone that has a company. It may be also, again, a father figure, someone that is mature. Because that's why this is all happening. This king, I'm um, sorry, king. This emperor here is trying the best way to go towards situation. But of course, there's that passion there that drives this personality as well. What is the emperor here? One more. Yeah, the page of wands. You, um, some of you may be age difference here or dealing, um, dealing with someone that feels so exciting. Can be entrepreneurial energy starting a new business. But I, I feel like this is someone that wants to communicate fast, quick, passionately. It's like I feel like this emperor, like let me let me take charge here. 
Let me go for it. Let me not think about it. Let me just explore the possibilities of what can it be. But of course, he, she is mature, so it doesn't act that um, irrationally. What happened with the Eight of Cups? One more. There's the star. Okay, so someone lost hope in the past or the one. It's like the kind of the one that got away type of energy. That's how I see because again, there's someone that is still lingers here. Still lingers on this hope and that's coming. I'm getting, I have to say, for some of you, I'm getting strong, uh, the masculine towards the feminine um, energy. But someone was disappointed in the past. There was this beautiful, you know, hope, wish fulfillment, reaching for the stars. Why do you have the five of pentacles? Why do you have, I feel like no matter what, you're looking uh, pessimistically at it. It's like getting out of this misery. One more. Judgment, initiation. Yeah, you just feel like wh whoever is being closed off or casted outside. It's just someone is like praying here or hoping for a sign that I'm not going to feel th like this anymore. I'm not going to be abandoned. I'm not going to feel left out financially or when it comes to a connection. It's just waiting for that sign. Why is the star? One more. Hierophant. Wow. Taurus energy for some of you, but it doesn't have to be just about Taurus this is a, a promise that is coming, a vow. It's like your uh, prayers are being answered here. With um, We have Book of the Shadows and the Initiation. This is beautiful, guys. It, something is coming here. I don't feel like it's an immediate action, but it's this realization um, of whatever you've been praying. It's like someone answering those prayers. It's beautiful. You have the Page of Swords. One more. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Isn't that interesting, right? These two together, um, air and earth, both sixes. So we we know that there is something about harmonious energy here, a balance that you're trying to make. But you are, um, this is what you're thinking or observing, watching, even when it comes to communication or, you know, saying something. You want to know that is going to be whatever this information well balanced, well received, and it's going to be reciprocated or it's going to help you to move forward. It's like, I feel like this is your mind going back and forth between what do I need to let go here and what do I need to share? <clears throat> That's what you're thinking with the page of source. That's your uh, observation. What is the fool here? What is the fool? One more. Yeah, someone has been that has been holding. <coughs> I'm sorry, someone that has been holding off, putting boundaries. There's no more boundaries. It's like someone is feeling like, okay, I'm I'm getting out of. Um, it's like I'm getting out of my house. I'm getting out of what uh, has been my security here, stability. Someone that wants to take a risk. And this is this situation has been someone that has been really holding back. Why you have the five of cups in your hopes and fears? One more. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you feel like it's a farewell, but it's not a farewell. Someone at distance barriers. You still um you're still holding on to something here that has not finished. But for some of you, I'm getting the farewell, your fear of this goodbye. 
For some of you, you feel like you're not going to reach your destination here with the world. You're not going to get the accomplishment. You're not going to, to be able, whatever this journey that you have been thinking and want to take and the initiative, you're afraid that it's not going to happen. They're just, this here is just hopes and fears. It's not what's going to happen. It's just how you see things because I feel like, again, you're afraid. What is this three of cups? One more. The Nine of Pentacles. First of all here, I have to say, because that Nine of Pentacles has been coming a lot. If you are afraid right now for, for the ones here that have been going through financial, um, and it's not going to be for everyone, please keep in mind this is for the collective. But for the ones that have been going through, have been working, because the Knight of Pentacles to me is someone that has been thinking and planning and just, you know, taking responsibility, exploring. If you have been afraid that there's something here that you are going to be losing or financially being casted outside the nine of pentacles to me with the three of cups is the most beautiful energy regarding financial um, abundance. It's like good news of, for, of someone here that finally is free. Uh, now for others here, it looks like there's been a connection that you have wanted to come forward and finally someone here feels independent enough to pursue this. One more. Oh my goodness, the Ten of Pentacles. Abundance, family, commitment. There's going to be a reunion here as well. But for some of you, I feel like there's this good news regarding financial freedom. And also here, whatever it is here that you've been asking, you've been asking for, you know, some kind of uh, liberation. You've been asking for a sign here to not stay in this loss or feeling dissatisfaction or this kind of I don't have closure the the star here and the book of shadows or again the hierophant tells me that finally that answer is coming and this is going to be good news here the outcome is just this abundance uh independence commitment here family establishment it's actually very very um I, I feel like grounded energy that is coming towards you, something very tangible with all of this. A lot of earth, by the way, a lot of earth um, in this. So when it comes to security, stability, financial freedom, and also commitment, uh, it's like an establishment is going to be here by the end of uh, the week with that Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. You are going to be fine, uh, Pisces. Just do not let fear here. Do not let a loss of the past or regrets of the past stop you from reaching, uh, you know, this destiny here with the world. I really hope this resonates with you guys. In the extended, it's just going to be all about love, uh, not just anything else, just concentrated on love. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much.